All right, guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Basically, I got my own podcast studio now, which I'll do some videos on later. But in the process of trying to design this small little podcast studio, I found myself searching on YouTube studio tour videos, setup tour videos, trying to get inspiration, trying to get ideas. It got the wheels turning. I was like, yo, there needs to be more creative studio tours on YouTube. So this is the first episode of the new series. Don't know what we should name it yet. If you guys have any fly ideas, let me know. If you guys don't know who Blasi is, super dope designer. Uh, he's now on the podcast with House Phone, disconnected every Thursdays on No Jumper. Let me just quit talking and let's get right into this video, man. Shout out to Blasi once again. This is the Sandbox Tour. Let's go. Uh, my name is Blazzy and we're at our office called The Sandbox. I just went on went on my Instagram one day and just asked my supporters like what name should we do it? Everyone voted on The Sandbox, I'm like that's a hard ass name. So we just be creating from thin dirt, you know? So, I mean I used to think it was as simple as an apartment but you know with, uh, with offices I mean the price changes every time you renew your lease, you know for one. Uh, for two, you gotta get insurance. It's not just rent you're paying, especially when it comes to like offices and buildings, but uh, um, it's definitely worth it though, man. I, I always make a joke like, I'd rather have like my trapper and my like my client homies come fucking fart on these chairs than fart in my sofa, you feel me? I was, I was like a bedroom designer from like the ages of like 18 to 23. And from there, when I was able to quit my job at the airport in 2018, um, me and my homies put, I think we had an office that was maybe like, I'll say maybe like a, a, a sixth of this room. Like bro, it's like a, like, a, like a literally a closet. And it was $500 a month and we all decided, okay, cool, I got, you know, 175 or whatever it is divided by three. Let's all put in and that's what we did, man. There was times where push came to shove where it's like, fuck, how the fuck am I gonna pay rent uh, with my homies this week? And you know, I'd have to sell, you know, little bracelets or, you know, my gold chain or whatever it was that, that month, you know? I mean, pressure makes diamonds, bro. That That's the type of shit that'll really have you step out of bed. You know, you got no choice. So I'm like, okay, cool. I got a year's worth of time before shit starts looking sticky. It's like, nah, you're, 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 you're going month by month, like walking on thin ice, like you can't be fucking up. You know, it, it inspired a lot of my best work for real. The last while we were at, we kind of got unlucky. A couple people's cars got broken into and the cops would harass us. The cops would wait for one of us to leave the office just so they could shine their lights. I had it all on my fucking, my ring camera broke several times, you know? Stop me, bro. They started asking like, whose car is this? You know what I mean? Like, like where's the drugs at? Where's the guns? It's like, bro, like what's going on? As soon as you show them everything, they're like, all right, have a good day. I'm like, what's your, pro like, wh why'd you do this for have a good day? You know, it's just, they used to do that. My homies got arrested outside my office. L luckily, we, we, we found a spot where it's super safe. I love it here, you know what I mean? And I got several cameras outside, you know what I mean? So granted this spot, even though it's kind of like 70 to 80% fleshed out, it's still gonna look hella wild. Like we're gonna be here for another two and a half years. Oh wait, so this is an area that's, that's still very under construction. But some kid DM'd me, right? Nah, he tagged me in some shit. He tagged me in like a, a, a graffiti billboard, right? Like someone just catched the spot of billboard. And I was like, bro, why the fuck you tagging me in this shit? Like, I really don't care. He was like, nah, bro, I put your name up. I'm like, what? This motherfucker put Blasi on the uh, on the billboard like in fucking Ventura County. So I invited him to the office. I'm like, bro, I'm gonna need a little more than that. So, you know, we wanted to get the name right here. This is the sandbox, guys. Remember, this is a work in progress too. So I think this piece is probably like more towards the uh, uh, end of the process. This is the Blasi piece, and as we come upstairs, we come to the you know official part of the office. This is an area, um, you know, we're still expecting a lot of production to come in the next couple months. We got a lot of projects on the way, so I don't want to have my heart like too much into the space in particular. Just because I know if we need to fill it up with boxes, this will be the first place. See the hallway? We got uh, actually the fucking TED Talk third year now that I'm seeing it. This is all the stuff that my team and I have been given the opportunity to work on. You know, all of these are official projects, guys. I don't put any fan art, none of that on the wall. These are all t-shirts, by the way. Um, So we got stuff from like 
all my favorite runs projects. You got the Coochie Runs bag. In my opinion, the biggest bag of 2021. To the left of you, we have some of my favorite projects from FaZe Clan. We did the Optic collab. We did the NASCAR stuff. This is nothing personal. That's 400 for YG. I remember I made that one on Shroom. Their team hit me up and they're like, yo, we need some shit. And they were like, we need it next Friday, right? They told me that. So that same Friday, I'm at Big Bear. I'm chilling and shit like that. I get a call from the Mount Nor. I'm like, oh, okay, see what they want. They're like, Blasi, we went this Friday, bro. I'm so sorry. So I'm like, what? I'm, bro, I'm off like hella drugs and shit. Shrooms at that. And I, if you ever do the shrooms, you don't want to work on your computer. You don't want to do none of that. So I actually made that graphic. This is still one of my favorite pieces. The city is mine. We got some Eric. Badu, we got some TK. This was like the first t-shirt that like really established it for me. Mike, that, that's actually unreleased. Uh, Gucci Mane versus Jeezy. The net, this was the network piece that they did for the uh, official versus battle. When they hit me up after this, I was so psyched because like Gucci Mane's my favorite artist. Um, he's someone that like, I, I really stud studied his cover art to get like, you know what I mean? Bro, like he'd have the craziest cover art. So when, when I got hit up for the project, I'm like, I gotta go crazy. So I, I like spilled my fucking heart and soul into this design right here. I got a fucking weighing the, uh, the pendants and they asked me for another one after I finished this one. After spending so long on this, I told them like, guys, I, like I love working hard, but I don't know if I can do another one. Like I really put my heart so I can't like, I don't have like the capacity to think of more shit. So, but I wish I, I did make more stuff for Gucci Mane. Lil Uzi Burt, never seen before. This is unreleased. Funny story about this. You know, the thing about Uzi too is like, he's gone through like hella different haircut changes, you know? As I was doing this graphic, he wasn't active on Instagram, right? A week after this graphic's done and we paid the illustrator to help us fucking do all this crazy shit, this motherfucker cuts his hair off. So I don't know what happened with that. Eminem, that was for the Marshall Mathers LP, 20th anniversary, shout out to Laura. Uh, this was for Carter Five, Lil Wayne merch. I, I found out the day before it got posted, like, yo, this shirt got accepted, it's gonna go up. And uh, from what I understand, this was his best-selling merch on this, uh, uh, this album. You know, and then we did the baby rock star. This is right when the single dropped. This, I, I think this is the biggest song we ever dropped. You know, this was in 2020. I was able to become part of the biggest, probably hip hop song of the year. So it means a lot whenever I can do merch projects for stuff like that. This was for Juice World's Legends Never Die album. This was the first post the Omnibus album he dropped. Um, that was for Face Clan in particular. That was the first Face Clan project they had me on. Uh, this one is the Weekend Juice World V Loan collab. That was the front. I actually, if you see it right here, this was. The other uh, V Loan Juice World design that I did, um, this one was inspired by the Rich Gang The Torque uh, cover art. It's a cover art of Young Thug and Rich Homie Kwan as one face. Yeah, this is Juice. This is the weekend right here. This is Juice World, and uh, it, it it looked dope. It looked dope to me. And then uh, uh, we kind of kept getting weirder and weirder. <laughs> uh, what's his face? Barry told me like, "Yo, now we gotta make it a clown." I'm like, "All right, let's try it out." So, you know, that's what we did with this one. Um, the other ones for sure. My favorite, if I had to choose. What design took the longest? What design took the longest right here? These designs right here. And th these are probably like my most popular designs, but this is for, for a brand called Tsukami. Uh, it looks um, hella fire, you know? Every time people come by, they try to put a finger on like what kind of vibe it is, longest. you know? But this one I think of everything I, I've done is probably my favorite. Um, this is a project that at the time when Chinatown Market introduced me to, I knew I had a, I had big shoes to fill. Grateful Dead really has that heritage of just having like the hardest, best most cult t-shirts ever yeah. now uh, uh market actually hired like a grateful dead like expert on this right and uh, we originally had the grateful dead uh skeletons they were dancing right here and he was like you know he started getting very uh political he's like yo if you're gonna have the steal your face you cannot have the skeletons you gotta have the bears and he was like but we should do something to the bears i never seen them become aliens before so after he said that, we did it as aliens. Chinatown ended up running more uh, products just off of that vibe, off the alien bears. So totally something new to the Grateful Dead universe. And uh, now you got people tatted with, with that uh, that little bear with the alien eyes. So of course we got the V-Lone V. This design went viral in LA, and more particular for Cutthroat. Um, I think he said he sold like a thousand shirts of those, you know what I mean? And like fucking, uh, what are they called? Uh, Roscoe's fucking trying to like sue him and shit, man. So 
that's something where it's like it's good you just take your cash and dip sometimes with these designs you do not want to get involved with that man Bino designs never came out top season i don't think this one's gonna come out this one's on release this is gonna be christopher kites x jordan i have the sample shirt at my house it has the jordan tag so that's probably like one of the hardest like flexes I got. It just never came out because they printed it wrong. You know, we got the good high roller set, you feel me? I had I had to show love to my boy house phone. You know, this was from the last collection. I just told him, like, look, bro, you got a great brand. Why the fuck are you to drop me t-shirts? I just got so tired of hearing him like, look, dude, I'm gonna design you a collection. You let me know if you like it or not, and we'll go from there. We got section eight, some half evil stuff. Even down to this shirt. I need to put this shirt in there, but that was part of the collection that. We also designed NWO released. This one was Trippy Red Chats on market for his album. I think Pegasus, Ray Mysterio on released. Meet the Flockers. I got hella deep. I always wanted to make a shirt about flocking in LA, right? And I never found exactly how to do it. I'm, I'm surprised no one ever did the Meet the Flockers flip. So I had to add that, and then I just fucking did a burglar in front of my house. Uh, Complex is the homie Phoenix flexing for his tour last year. TGX6 no jumper design. We got that's off a lot of Wakisha, which is a great story just because like I found myself trying to find the right photo of a Pora pan and I was there for two hours. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? Then I realized I got hands. So I took my ass to the store, I bought a styrofoam cup, bought a fucking soda, and this is these are my fingers, you know what I mean? So yeah, so my, I'm a hand model and you can see that on the Wakisha music video. Money back girls wearing the hoodie the whole time. Uh, and yeah, man, these are just some of our favorite projects. Not everything we've made. I think we probably knock out anywhere from like 20 to 40 projects a month. Let's check out the rest of the office. So this is a restroom, nothing too fancy, you know. I, I do pride myself for beating no jumper and having a better, better, better restroom than them. You get lost in this shit, the jungle. We got the kitchen, you know. I never really had a kitchen for an office, so when we when we found this spot, I'm like, bro, I can't wait. Like, I'm really gonna customize it. You know, we got the good fucking where air fryer. We this was a bitch to bring in. My dad had to help me. Like, we had to unhook this shit. It's just coming off already. We had to unhook the fucking doors and bring this shit. My dad's a uh, he's a chef. He's been cooking for like quinceañeras and like weddings for like 20 years so this fucking fridge was like his meat fridge so it just smelled like rotten blood when we got it um so now we could go into the second design office now no one's here at the office right now but i'll kind of uh do my best at showing you all what's going on what the fuck is this <laughs> this is i didn't even plan on doing this but they got some weird 69 shit right here this is our designer e who's apparently really likes playing with dolls um but yeah, man, this is where my designers work. This is my boy E. He runs the brand Hectic Universe. This is Nate's desk. He runs the brand Enough. And this is Edgar's desk, who runs the brand Cielos. And, um, you know, just wanted to set them up right here, have them with enough space to, to think. Because none of my designers smoke, right? But me and all my homies smoke. We smoke like chimneys. So, like, I always felt bad. My last office didn't have no rooms, no doors, just open space. So I, I made sure that like, you know what? I felt really bad just blowing smoke in their face. Like if it ever gets too hectic in that room, you guys have your own like safe space. This is the, uh, the warehouse. Uh, we have it pretty clean, you know what I mean? We do a lot of production out of here. We do a lot of uh, uh, packing orders. Not only do we do stuff for our brand, but we do stuff for other brands as well. Um, my boy who's not here right now, James, he's, a, he's head of production. And he also has a brand called Quoted where he does these dope shirts. God save me from this crash. Just so I could beat Pete Davidson's ass and my new bitch bash. <laughs> but yeah, this is the space right here. I'm already thinking like we've only been here for a month and most of the product that you see laying around has been stuff that's dropped already. So we have about like 20 new pieces. So it's about really get crunch time in here. We're gonna see how these uh, shells stack up. And then this right here, this is, the, this is the main office. This is my conference room. This is my office, this is like my personal space. Um, I don't even know where to start, man. I mean, we could start with like the paintings on the wall. This is like the first time I've ever commissioned somebody to make me a painting. There's this famous scene in SpongeBob where he's just trying to remember some shit, and th th they fast forward to this clip of him going through his brain, going through files, and like me shit. as a hectic creator, you know, someone who's like still in the service industry working for other uh, people. I feel like that sometimes, you know. I feel like I have the worst memory. So you check my notepad. I got a hell of information there, man, but got a great portrait. Someone made this of me. The funny story about this one, so so this designer's name is Bresk. He posted it, 
This motherfucker did not tag me, didn't say shit. And I'm looking at I'm laughing my ass off. I'm like, bro, this is me. You got the cups. I don't really wear, uh, like, fucking dunks or anything like that, but, you know, got the run chain, like, got the activity hat. I'm like, this is me. And then I told him, like, bro, can I have a print of this? Then when I met up with him, he's like, you know, that was of you, right? I'm like, bitch, yes, I did, though. It was me. <laughs> uh, Obey Shepherd Fairy signed print. You know, I got this shit tatted on me. Shepherd Fairy really inspired me to, to really, like, see this shit as just some young Mexican kid in L.A. Because, like, no one had young Mexican kids like Shepherd Fairy did when I was in high school. Like, 2011, 2012, and all that shit. Like, it was all Obey. So, uh, you know what I mean? That really got me into streetwear and street art. I got my crazy Spongebob collection. I realized I knocked out a couple back there. Uh, but I got everything from, like, fucking dollar toys to, you know, $600 toys in here. There's nothing like Spongebob, you feel me? Like, I was watching this documentary. They explained it, like, you can find a product of Spongebob for everything, whether it's SpaghettiOs, whether it's some kind of shampoo, or, like, some shoes. There's Spongebob everything, so... That inspired me to collect and just explore the wacky world. I have so many bootlegs. You know, some of these are from out the country. Some of these are official. Some of these are not. Some of these are fucking fake chains. Some of these are real chains. You we know, got a little bit of all of it. You know, and then right here we got some of our, uh, uh, you know, some projects we're working on. Projects we're, we've dropped in the past. You know, like, this is where I sit and I'll be here for fucking 12, 14 hours a day. Um, I'm big on watching TV. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but like, I got a TV literally just to watch YouTube. Oh, on I got it, all right? my good collectibles right here. This is probably one of my more favorite toys. Super duper rare. This is a Jeff Bezos action figure. So like, if you guys want to look at it close to his face, it's super duper detailed. Like they got his dimples right. You know what I mean? It's fucking crazy. This right here is my smoking cart. You know, do I need a smoking cart? Probably not, but it looks dope. Yeah, I like doing this. That's his whole purpose, you feel me? Just the idea that like, this is like some degenerate shit, you feel me? I got I got things for every, I got like every way you get high on weed on this table. I got wax, I got fucking flour, we got edibles, you know what I mean? I have literally a tower of just, of uh, rolling paper, you know? I got a whole row of fucking rolling, you wanna roll with a, with that's awful lot of cough syrup, you wanna roll with Dom Murphy, RP my brother, you wanna roll with runs. You want to roll with nothing personal, you know, we got flavor for everybody that comes in. Smoking table, and then we have our streaming table right here. It's where all the magic goes down, and also where all the trash gets collected. And then we got a good idea of who the fuck steps in here. And then we got some good code on art, one of one. Shout out to my boy Code on. But yeah, man, this is all. Also, I want to show this last painting right here. So this is something that uh, I went on Instagram. I was like, who, you know, can someone send me some dope artists? and I got a couple responses and this guy really caught my attention. This is like a little pump painting. This, it's called Not So Gucci Gang. So apparently he's getting invited to the Met Gala and he's still trying to get in. So his texts go from blue to green. You know what I mean? That's hella attention to detail. And if you really look uh, to the left side, you can see Rihanna actually going up the, uh, the, the, the steps. Then you have Jake Cole just looking over him, kind of disappointed. And Lil Pump is just like kind of just sad, you know, but it's, it's a great painting, man. Don't fuck with it. Yeah, it's yeah. Fire. It's just so sick. Yeah, guys, but look, shout out to all y'all who watched this, got through the video. I appreciate the VBC coming, giving uh, giving y'all an exclusive kind of full detailed tour. I don't think I've ever actually walked through every single graphic like the way I did with Trevor. Um, but I appreciate all y'all who watched this. Appreciate the VBC. Watch it gives a fuck. The only people who are really out here like doing this shit with designers, man. So shout out to my boy. And yeah, man. Hopefully y'all will see a lot more coming soon. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks bro. Oh yeah.